Hello everybody, welcome back to Living Our Best Life. I'm Keith. Uh, today I just wanted to bring you a quick video uh, about uh, DJI drones. Uh, yesterday, DJI released uh, new firmware for the DJI Mini 3 Pro as well as the DJI Air 2S. Um, these firmwares uh, were very, very good in a lot of ways, but the most critical way was it now allows the Air 2S, which by a lot of people is considered the best drone uh, on the market as far as affordability and features. It allows the Air 2S to work with the DJI RC, the controller that came with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, up until this point, you were only able to use this controller or the RC Pro, which was a $1,100 controller. So. This one is much more affordable as well as coming with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It's also now sold as standalone for $309. Uh, the process of doing this can be a little confusing. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to, to make this video today. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your DJI Fly app on your mobile device. And you want to go in and as soon as you open that up, it's going to tell you that there's a new... Uh, version of that app available 1.7.8 you need that version of the app before you go any further so download that version of the app and I noticed at least for me while I was actually downloading and updating the app it popped up on my screen that a new firmware was available for the Air 2S so I went ahead and started that download now the process to actually make this controller work with the Air 2S can be a little confusing. So this is step by step what you need to do in order to make this work properly and not have to go back and redo anything. So the first thing you want to do of course is to update the the Fly app on your mobile device. Once you update the Fly app you will update the Air 2S if you have the fly more combo, don't forget to update all three of your batteries. Uh, all you have to do is remove the battery, turn the drone back on, put a new battery in, it'll say firmware, new firmware available. Do that for the remaining parts of your batteries, and then you're done with the firmware update. You can then set this and this aside, and then you can focus on the Mini 3 Pro. Now the Mini 3 Pro comes with its own new firmware, but this also comes with a firmware update, which actually downloads and installs with the Mini 3 Pro update. So you'll do the Mini 3 Pro update, and once you do that update, and the controller updates itself, then you'll be ready to take that process to the next level with the uh, Air 2S. So then once you have your Air 2S updated, your controller is updated, you will then turn on your your RC and you'll turn on your Air 2S. Once both of those are turned on, you'll find on your screen the connection guide. And on the connection guide, you just tap the button and there's your DJI Mini 3 Pro, which prior to this update, it only showed you the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3, which were the only two drones that worked with this controller. But now as you flip, there's the Mavic 3 and there's the Air 2S. So the process, once you have the Air 2S selected, is you'll tap it and it'll say firmware version inconsistent. Update the firmware before use. So you then tap that button there's firmware inside of the controller for both of your drones, so you don't have to uh, worry. That firmware is stored. You don't have to download it each time. When you switch back to the Mini 3 Pro, you'll have to do that step again. So then at the bottom, it says, unable to connect to aircraft. You just want to tap that. And then it's going to come up with the button that says, pair. So then you hit pair. At the same time, you want to hold down your power button on the remote for four seconds. And once you start that and you hold it down, you'll hear a beep. 
Then you hit the pair button. You hit the pair button on your remote. And it starts the pairing process. And there it is. The RC working with the Air 2S. As you can see on the screen, you can see that it's working with it. Uh, I actually did a flight yesterday, flew for about 25 minutes. Uh, everything worked perfectly. Uh, every, all the settings on the drone carried over, my return to home, my altitude, everything is perfect with this process. So then, so what do you do when you want to go back to your Mini 3 Pro? Well, you just reverse the process. You turn your Mini 3 Pro on. And you're going to get the same message because I'm not sure why uh, DJI hasn't figured out a way to just make it seamless and you can just push one button and go back between the controllers. But so now I've turned my uh, Mini 3 Pro back on. I'm going to going to turn the remote back on and, and show you that process, which again is, is really, really simple. Uh, it can be a little confusing, uh, but once you do it a time or two, it should, everything should just feel natural to switch between these controllers, to switch between these drones with this controller. So you, once again, you go back to the connection guide. And you see your Air 2S is selected because it was the last drone that you used. And so you want to go to the Mini 3 Pro. You tap the Mini 3 Pro. It tells you again that there's a, a firmware version that's inconsistent. You hit continue. It puts that firmware back onto the controller to make it work with this one. The firmware is now updated. And then now it's going to tell you, oh, you don't even have to go through that step. So once the firmware was back on, it's literally working again with the Mini 3 Pro. So that's it. That's all you have to do. You have now you have this fantastic controller with a screen that you can now fly both of these drones with, and you can switch between this, these drones seamlessly with this controller. And it's such a joy to fly this Air 2S with this screen. Up until now, I, I, I really had trouble flying my Air 2S because of flying it on my phone, I was very limited to what I could see. Uh, even though I have a newer phone, the glare was terrible. A lot of times in sunlight, I couldn't see the screen, and which caused me to tense up and uh, just made the flying process not as comfortable as I'd love for it to be. This drone, when I got this drone with the RC, with that screen and that visibility, it was a game changer. So now that this works with this RC, I'm going to be flying them both probably equally. Because even though I love my Mini 3 Pro, this right here is just such a great drone. It shoots in 5.4K, has all the obstacle avoidance, does all of the master shots and quick shots and all of those things that the Mini 3 Pro does, except it does them better. Two great drones now work with one controller, and it's a great controller. So thank you for watching. I hope this does help somebody as they go through this process. It's really easy to do. Just make sure that you update your firmware on your this controller. When you, you want to put your, your mobile device on this controller and then update the DJI Fly App first and then update your Air 2S. Then after you update your Air 2S, turn those off, update the, R the RC and, and the Mini 3 Pro. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.